Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for the really warm response on the first video. I was so glad that you guys liked it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing some more city tour videos uh, very soon. But uh, today I kind of wanted to focus on something different. I noticed that uh, I did a project recently and I looked for tutorials on how to do some of the redstone and a lot of the tutorials for the subject that I was looking for were for PC. And PC is great and all, but I noticed that for a lot of topics, there's kind of a lack of tutorials for PE uh, edition players. Uh, well, Bedrock, really. Uh, so I thought I'd do that today, uh, give you a, a sort of uh, tutorial on how to build lasers. That's right. And this chicken's gonna be our test subject. So, uh, let me just really quickly... Where the hell... Where'd it go? It's over here. What are you doing? Get over here. We're gonna put you in this hole. Go in. There you go. Okay. He's gonna be the test subject, so we're just gonna have to leave him hanging. <laughs> Get it? Because it's... Okay. Uh, so... Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our little build. So, I'm going to be teaching you to build three different types of lasers. Uh, a detection laser. And, well, really uh, two types. A detection laser and a... Uh, And a traction beam. That's right. We're going to be showing you guys how to build traction beam too on mobile. So this is pretty cool. Uh, so here are your two walls that you want your laser between. And no, I'm not going to use, uh, like, this ain't really going to be clickbait. I mean, yeah, see, he can't even. Okay, I was about to say that he can't even kill himself, but he managed to. Dang it. Okay, it's fine. We can always spawn in another one. So, uh, the way I use these lasers is I build uh, tripwire hooks on each side of the wall. And with tripwire hooks, as you know, you use string to attach them to each other. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It can be difficult to see the string, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out. You'll know that you connected them when they adjust from this position to that position. So, yeah. Uh, so now you have a completed tripwire line and this isn't where i'm gonna say okay video over because obviously this is already a detection thing you go across it but it functions a lot like a laser doesn't it i mean technically this is really a laser so thank you guys this is how to build no i'm kidding uh <laughs> i'm not clickbaiting you there are actually going to be some lasers so here is how you build the laser part uh now this is completely aesthetic for all we for all we need for a detection this is functional completely it's basically a laser but we're going to use particles. Now, the particles that we have access to in mobile can allow us to make red, purple, or green lasers. So, I think I'm going to make this one green, because why not? So, let's go ahead and go below this little thing. Catch up that hole where the chicken killed himself. Uh, and then kind of just uh, make a rail line going directly under there. Uh, we're going to power this whole thing, uh, just like that. So now uh, you can choose any type of minecart. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to go with the chest, because why not? So now we have a chest bouncing back and forth. Great, but what does that accomplish? So now we're going to be using a command block. Now, uh, I probably should have told you this before, but this is a creative mode only thing. So if you have a city world and you want to make like a laser door or something, uh, again... This is that, so don't think that this is a survival mode tutorial. Well, you're not going to now, because you can't get commands in survival. So, here, we are going to input, we're going to use an execute command, and I'm thinking of coming out with a whole video on its own on how to use the execute command on mobile, but for now, we're just going to use it like this. So, we're going to go slash execute at E, which means all entities, but obviously we don't want to execute upon all of them, because that could uh, lead to some weird things uh so we're gonna narrow it down here we're gonna go type equals chest minecart and we need to put an underscore instead of a space 
And then to narrow it down even further, we're going to go R equals 5. So the R there stands for radius. So basically, in a three block radius around this command block, those are all the minecart chests that will be active upon. So I think I've narrowed it down pretty well there. So now we're going to go ahead and put these little buffers between it. And then we're going to go particle at, no, particle minecraft equals villager underscore happy and <laughs> and now we're gonna put this uh now we're gonna count real quick so above the minecart so we have one block two block three block four block so we're gonna go uh not that so we're going to go 4.2 because that'll make it line up well with the string so we'll do that and then we'll set it to repeat always active and now if we go up here yeah, there we go. So now we really have a laser. So let me just go ahead and take this out. And now with this, you can do a lot of things. Uh, if you go on Minecraft Wiki and search particles, there are a lot of other particles you can use. So if you want to look around there, you can you can use different commands. You can use a uh, redstone wire dust particle to make the laser red. And you can use Dragon Breath Trail to make the laser purple. Uh, but this isn't the last thing I'm going to show you. But as you can see, pass through it, it'll execute a command. So if you want, like, if you want this to be, like, a defensive laser, you could be, like, slash kill at P. Uh, so behind there. So, like, let me just go into my spawn because I do plan on actually making this happen. Um... Uh, uh, there we go, great. Uh, so if I set myself to survival and I walk through here, I die instantly. So, yeah, I'd say it works. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, no real way around. You can try and jump it, but you can't. You're not a ninja. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically uh, the detection. Or you can make something happen good. I don't know why you'd want that unless you were building some kind of laser challenge. But yeah, uh, so that is basically, and that is the basis for a detection laser. So now we are going to move this up a tiny bit. So let me move this up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of, uh, yeah, get rid of this part. And we're going to turn off this command block. It's redstone, so now all these will slowly fade away. So, now what we need to do, now what I'm going to show you guys how to do, is how I should have said that, is to make a traction beam. This is going to be so cool. So, uh, let's make this a little bit longer so we can further uh, illustrate the traction of this beam. So, basically, what I mean by this is anything that gets caught, and we're going to program this to be chickens because... Uh, to a certain friend out there. Uh, we're going to program this to be chickens. So uh, when a chicken falls into this beam, it will be attracted across. So we're going to do the same thing with the tripwire hooks because they are the best thing for a horizontal one-way detection that I found while grazing around the inventory. So we're going to connect these together real quick. Uh, so there we go. They're connected. So now we can reuse our minecart track from earlier, but we are going to use a different type of minecart. Let's just go ahead and swap this out with a hopper minecart. Oh shoot, what the, oh, I already have a thing. Hold on, hold on, one sec. Uh, hold up guys. Sorry about that. Uh, there we go. Okay, we killed it. Uh, okay, so not bad. Let's just use the minecart chest then, and then just use the, uh, and then just type up a different command block. It's fine. Everything's fine. So we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to do slash execute at E type equals chest underscore minecart. And I'll, and as I said before, I can do a more, uh, a more in-depth tutorial on, on how to use the execute command in many different situations and what it really means. But basically it means that you're executing a separate command onto a specific entity. 
Uh, so that's really the best way I can sum it up. Again, I'll go more in depth in a separate video, but for now we're making lasers. So, and then we're going to do particle. We're going to do a different color. How about we do Minecraft equals redstone. Uh, I misspelled that. God, ignore that. <laughs> redstone wire dust particle. And then we're going to do that around 5.2 blocks. But, and I might have typed that up wrong. We'll see. We'll see if the command works. Yeah, I don't think I... I know, that's... Oh, god dang it. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, I might cut that out of the video. Sorry, guys. I put cheat minecart chest minecart r equals five. Oh my god so we're gonna do particle minecraft equals redstone i misspelled redstone again dude i don't know i don't really know redstone wire dust Particle. I don't know if the particle part belongs at the end. So we have that on always active. Shoot. No target match selector. Is it doing it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. So now we have a kind of cool little kind of trail particle. Now, this may just be me, but sometimes I like to do something a bit different for this. So to show that the beam is kind of tr is kind of tracking in one direction i guess you could say let's go ahead and put a lava pit on this side and you'll see where i'm going with this so you put a lava pit on this side and then on this side we are going to have a simple hopper timer and again, I'm not going to give you any kind of item list or what you will need to build this thing because you're, you're in creative. That's literally useless. So there we go. We have our, I don't know if that linked. There we go. Okay. So we have our hopper timer and now we are going to, actually, you know what? I think it's only going to be too long. Yeah, let's make it too long because that way it'll be more rapid. So we'll do that. And now to sense that something's inside the hopper, let's get out a comparator, put it there, and then get out a command block. Now we're gonna do slash summon chest minecart. And then we're gonna put the coordinate of this block right here. So 106, and, and this will be different for you, obviously. It'll be where you're setting up your laser here. It's 161, uh, Okay, great. So now we just chuck something that's one inside of here. Now, as you can see, we're getting, oh, hold up. God, this is just a disaster, isn't it? There we go, okay. Okay, I need to get rid of these stupid chests. There we go. Now, now it's fine. Everything is fine. All right, so now if you look up here, we've kind of got a little bit of motion going across here. So now that we have this kind of, now that we have the hard part out of the way, how do we make the traction happen? Because right now what happens is if we, is if a chicken drops into this, it's just, it's just going to go through it. So now we just put one simple command block right here, right here, and it will say slash execute another execute command execute at e type equals chicken so we're executing upon a chicken right now chicken r equals 20 let's say and we're gonna put our buffer and then tp at s and since we're executing a command the at s means the chicken uh, and then we're going to be teleporting it slowly, uh, to this way. So, in this case, a negative number. And we want to make this small because these repeat commands, 
go off a lot. They have, I think, they do 10 ticks per second. So if you did, like, negative 5, then it would just... It would just fly off the screen, like, in a second. It would just be gone. So I do 0 0.05 negative because we're going this way. So now... Uh, L. I'll make this repeat, obviously. So now we can go ahead and get out a chicken and drop it in. And as you can see, there it goes. It floats across just like that. When it gets to the end, it'll get out of the range and it'll flop up back down. So I think that's kind of cool. You could use this to make like a conveyor belt or anything, but now that's a bit of a problem it's it gets a bit weird when you try and use multiple chickens but if you're trying to do some kind of puzzle thing uh hint hint might be in another video uh then this works with just one chicken really but yeah still really cool concept uh so yeah that's how you can make uh lasers in minecraft guys so thanks for watching uh see ya